Jim. Dan, thank you. Two 17-year-olds are now in stable condition tonight after they were stabbed in a brazen attack on a SEPTA platform in Center City, Philadelphia. Action News reporter Christy Aletto is live inside the 8th and Market Street station. Christy, what is the latest on this? Well, sources say that police have identified the attacker, a boy believed to be around the same age as those two 17-year-old victims. And apparently, he never left the train station, rather hopped a train after allegedly committing that crime. The kids were seeing somebody got stabbed. I seen people running upstairs saying somebody got stabbed. The panic calls for help came at the start of Wednesday's rush. Investigators say two 17-year-old boys were stabbed on the eastbound platform of the Market Frankfurt line inside SEPTA's 8th Street station. One boy stabbed in the neck, stomach, and arm. Another stabbed multiple times in the torso. Both critical. Horrible looking sight when you see people laying in blood everywhere. All I seen was a bloody mess and um and, and, and it was just, you know, it's something shouldn't be happening in the center of the city. Sources say the two victims attend Charter High School for Architecture and Design. It's not immediately clear if they knew their attacker, but witnesses say the incident started with an argument between the boys and the alleged attacker's sister and then escalated. The kids, they meet up right here at Apron Market, right here, this is like the stopping ground. They got into a little argument, a little, you know, misunderstanding, and then it escalated downstairs, and that's where the stabbing took place at. 8th Street Station was temporarily closed for several hours as police combed the crime scene and looked through surveillance video to track the knife-wielding suspect. Passengers were later allowed back in, but not without. A heavy police presence. This is, you know, outrageous that, you know, somebody got stabbed. I get nervous because I'm down there every single day in the morning and at night. So that's a little, especially as a young female, I think it's also makes you nervous because it could happen to you. Again, police have clear images of the suspect thanks to surveillance cameras in the station. But anyone with additional information about this incident is asked to contact Central Detectives. Live in Center City, Christy Aletto, Channel 6, Action News. Jim. Thank you, Christy. This case.